thought is the one at the back facing straight towards you. Quartering is facing straight towards you. The one, the right. the one there's two. Yep. There's one on the left facing straight towards you. It's really early. We, we actually we're out, um, trying to spot Kudu. And we've seen a, a bachelor group of Impala rams, and there's a particularly good ram in there. We're going to try and see if we can get on him. Man. Only about 250 yards ahead of us. The wind's not right, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, there he is there. Through the binders. He's an animal on the right hand side looking straight at you. See him there? One further straight. Okay, this is the right, that's different. Hit him good. He's tumbling over. Down. Well done, Kevin. That's what I wanted right there. <laughs> well done, That's sir. That's what I wanted right there. Great stuff. Well, you made a bloody good shot of just over 300 yards. I'll tell you what, there's an excellent impala that. Thank you, sir. The impala was as nice as we thought he was. Uh, about 302 or three yards, uh, went down in some brush. We're fitting to use the assistance of a, of a big old dog to help us locate him quickly. Massive dip in the back there. Yeah, there So we kicked off on day eight here, and uh, we'd actually spotted this Impala Ram four days ago, mm -hmm. and uh, Kevin had taken a liking to him. Although we had shot one almost uh, or previously in the week, and uh, yeah, this one's just an exceptional Ram, and uh, Kevin made a great shot just over 300 yards. Beautiful Ram. Uh, before I ever left the house, I knew where I was. If I was lucky enough to get an Impala where I was gonna, where the mount was gonna go, and uh, looking at him, he's gonna look quite nice on top of my safe. So I'm extremely happy. He's a beautiful ram. Uh, with a group of uh, four or five other rams, they really weren't having much of us getting close to him. But uh, persistence paid off. Thanks, Ben. It's a pleasure. Well done, Kevin. See that one? There's, there's one eating in, in, in a bush further out there. The two. Is this one on the left? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get you a range. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. He just needs to clear that thorn tree and you just put it on his shoulder there. If you're ready, you can go. Just squeeze it. Great shot, man. I reckon the gun's on. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. You, you poleaxed him, man. He didn't take a step. There's our ram. It's a beaut. See how wide he is compared to the others? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we wanted. Put it there. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, this is an Impala. Yeah, we, we'd seen him yesterday on our way out after we'd loaded a water back. And um, we'd come back to this spot here to look for kudu this morning. And he was still in amongst a big group of uh, bachelor rams. There were probably eight or nine of them. But he stood out against all the others. He got a nice wide um, spread and flared out a bit. And so Levi decided that he wanted him. And what was that, 260 yard shot? Yep. Good way to start the morning. And an Impala in the back. Thank you very much. Congrats. Sixth evening uh, uh, in Africa. We're uh, in a good area trying to make a spot on a blessed boat. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. and the baby sort of to his bottom left. Mm -hmm. There's one, should they stop now, they're behind each other. And he's got his head down now. No, he's the one above the two. Right. Yep. So yeah, he's got his head down. Reload Andy. He's the, okay, he's stand his four together there. He's the right down shoot now. There's a baby behind him. See the one, two, three. Uh, and you see see the group standing there? Okay, he's the one to the right. The one to the bottom uh, Sort of lagging there. Right, yeah, two babies sort of gone above him when he stops. Oh, he's now his way to the right now. Oh, 
down. <laughs> okay, make safe. That's good stuff. I'm sure your stress levels have come yeah, down come substantially. Down substantially. Yeah. Oh, I did not want to lose that animal. No, he's, uh, he's done. He's flopping around there, but beautiful animal. So we have, we have just had a successful best back <laughs> I did the same thing coming up the hill. No, that's all right. So there's so many animals in Africa, you never know. Um, but yeah, it was a good shooting under some serious uh, tense pressure. Yeah. Cool. Right, here we are to the successful conclusion of this hunt this afternoon. Uh, bless Buck. Uh, Benjamin put us on these animals. We made a fairly long stalk doing some long range shooting. Uh, first shot was a little low, so we got a second opportunity at him and we're able to put him down uh, this is Benjamin mentioned that this is a very old animal he's got great character good mass his ends of his points are starting to wear down really nice animal uh, it amazes me the eyesight that the folks I have with me have I'm doing good to say yeah there's an animal with binoculars and their naked eye they can look and tell you which direction it's facing and how good of an animal it is so very fortunate to have the crew that I've got with me and I'm really excited about this animal. Oh, they're, they're gonna come in. Facing, so he's not got his head down, you can see that. Yeah. And he's sort of squared up now. Yeah. You got a shot? Good. Yeah. Good shot. You're, you're oh, right through the money. Good shooting, Mr. Mike. See the blood coming right out of the engine. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. A lot of it, like a sieve. Going down there. Is it a rock toss by? Hate to ruin that record. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the boy. Oh, full challenge. Okay, he's gonna, I'm going to bring the pickup round. Just follow him, he'll take it to Perfect. Good. Okay. I'm going to take the shoot and shoot. I'll just take it in case he jumps up, but hardly unlikely because he was pouring blood out of his oh, oh wow. engine. Like a, yeah. You can see it, you can see it coming out. Really? Yeah. Okay, so just follow Vianney there and I'll meet you there now. Okay, so what a morning. Uh, we, we managed to retrieve our wounded zebra from yesterday. Uh, got that out the way, big weight off everybody's shoulders and um, a lot of black impala on this property so Mike decided he'd like to look for one and um, a whole lot of rams got into this sort of valley with thorn right up to the top of that hillside good luck <laughs> top of that hillside, I'm going to need some good luck <laughs> oh, well, let's just tuck in here and uh, get comfortable while we wait <laughs> If we need more height, you know, we'll just pop this under there and we'll just get comfortable. You know, there's no pressure and there's no, no stress. If it doesn't work, we'll find another setup. And Due to the difference between the males and the females, although both uh, genders have horns, see, the males are much thicker. 
and longer generally. We've got a large herd of blessbach, but they're quite some distance away. I think they must wear Nikes because they do like to run. I don't think they've stopped yet. Um, we're hoping they'll work their way this way. And as I'm speaking, they're getting a little closer, so I'm going to shut up and see if they'll keep coming. Standing broadside. There we go. I don't even think I scared him. I think no, you hit him. <laughs> You've hit him. Yeah. Very good shot, Mr. Brunson. Right on the money. I can see a red dot on his shoulder. You. He done. Uh, there we go. Five hundred. <laughs> Yeah, but as you know, a lot of people would say you're stupid to shoot at that distance, but with the right equipment, you can. No, oh, yeah, it's zero to you know. Yeah, that is very, very, very. Yeah, yeah I mean, impressive. you hit him absolutely spot on. When I shot it, <laughs> it was it was two seconds before they ever reacted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it, uh, yeah, it didn't actually make a, a thud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But That's I, could, why I could see him. That's why it's, that hollow sound is what had me. But. Yeah. yeah. You can see where you've hit him absolutely flush to the shoulders. Couldn't have made a better shot. <laughs> well done, Kevin. <laughs> wow. Jeez, look, that was the real deal. I mean, that is, after, you couldn't have looked like you playing pin the donkey. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, I couldn't, I couldn't afford to miss. I knew I would hear about it for the rest of the day, you, you the rest sure, of the week. You sure would have. <laughs> rest of my life. <laughs> Uh, quite a fun adventure on on Bless Buck today. Um, I I found out there's no getting a, a close shot at a Bless Buck. Uh, ended up I think this one's about 2,600 yards. <laughs> Actually, it was 500 yards. Uh, went about uh, 30, 40 yards and and piled up here. Uh, very pretty animal. Uh, very enjoyable hunt. It's walking today, <laughs> so, Yeah, so Steve and I, we've spotted some impala way out uh, towards a pond. Um, the light's not really good though because the sun's setting. And uh, yeah, just wish us some luck. It's been a long day already, so yeah, we're just trying to find something for the day. Awesome. Is the one at the back facing straight towards you. Quartering is facing straight towards you. The one on top, right? The one, there's two. Yep. There's one on the left facing straight towards you. Shot. Excellent. Stay on him, you see he's moving about there. Good stuff, Steve. Okay, let's just make safety on. Let's just go forward. See if he 
does get up back to zero. Okay, well, Give him a minute, I guess. <laughs> Beautiful and polar, isn't it? Thank you. Wasn't an easy shot that. Okay, well let's go grab. There we are. Okay. It's been a long day here in South Africa. We're at a different property that we've been on for the better part of two days now. And uh, we've been trying to get some hartebeest, some kudu and zebras. But we found a beautiful impala. I'm proud to take this one home. Last day of the hunt for Neil, and uh, yeah, we've got a beautiful morning out with uh, good conditions. And we're going to try look for an impala this morning. Cool. Right, no leave it, it's fine. We don't want to shoot him. What we want to shoot is to the right. Okay, wait, no. Go. Wait. Okay, let the sticks do the work. You see it? Okay, put it in the chest there, Neil. Center mass. Just think of it as a white tail. Okay. Well done, Neil. <laughs> My man. <laughs> That's a great shot, sir. Are you excited? <laughs> it was at 235 yards, Neil. Well done, boss. Facing you frontal. Awesome stuff. <laughs> Beautiful and polar ambit. Congratulations, Neil. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful in parlor. Fuck, I'm up here. It's been awesome hunt with Dick Boker and all the other folk, trackers, PHs. They had a wonderful time. Today, we're going to be looking for waterback, Nyala, and always on the lookout for a kudu bull. We've struggled a bit in the wind the last two days, but beautiful morning here. And yeah, hope we come right and uh, shoot some nice stuff today. You bet, you bet.
I saw the rack. <laughs> I saw the rack. Thanks for that, mate. A huge impaler. Check how wide he is. Yeah, nice wide spread. Beautiful wide spread. Beauty. Hold that. What are you going to say? Hold that. Yeah. Glad we got him back. This is a Nice and cool. polished, too. Yeah, it's a huge impaler. Nice and polished. So we saw this group of Impala about 140 meters out just over a fence this afternoon and uh, Grant thought he saw a pretty nice one which I got a bead on but then this one presented itself uh, probably about five eight minutes later and I waited for him to get clear and shot him got a, just a little low but uh, was able we were able to track him down and and put him down. So, uh, congratulations to Grant and Rost, Rostin. And uh, well done, Ron. Yeah, beautiful yeah. Impala. Yeah. Put in the shot and the finishing shot. Finished him off pretty yeah. swiftly. Well, thanks to well you. Done. Thanks to you. I just love the way it smells. I don't know what that smell is, but I like it. Ah, oh, it's so it's amazing. Day two, we spotted some blessed buck and we're gonna go for a stock and see if Jody can shoot one. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Nice shot. Nice shot. I heard it again. <laughs> he's getting down. He's getting down. He's tipping. He's the one standing there. That's him. He's getting down. Uh -huh. Let's just watch him. Yeah, we might have to put another one in soon. Okay. So here's the one to the right. 350. Okay, we'll go. We'll walk in a little closer. Just make sense. Give him a minute. Yeah. Okay. Back down. It's back down to zero. Very well done. <laughs> that is a long shot. Of Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well done. What a gorgeous oh, animal too. Do you want to? Oh, he got back up. Yeah. Okay. Maybe let's give him another poke. <clears throat> Hang on before we down. I'll range him real quick. He's not going far. He's... Yeah, I'm highly impressed. 
No, nope, back down. Okay. <laughs> just give him yeah, a second. We know his range, so. Good guy. Okay. He'll give you an opportunity. Just breathe. Overs, Cadovers. Well done. Thank you. Safety on. Well done, Daniel. Oh, thank you so much. So yeah, we set off this morning um, and the weather's been incredibly misty and overcast so couldn't really do much of the spiral hole species we were planning to do kudu this morning. Um, so we've come out here into the plains and uh, managed to spot some blessed back, a huge group of them. <laughs> and uh, we made a brisk stalk on this one and uh, put two good shots on him and this is where we stand. Yeah, Jody, you did a great shot there on the Thank well, you. Yeah, 350 yards. Thank and, you very uh, much. Yeah, awesome. Been an incredible experience. Yeah, Insane spotted some. Oh, get him! <laughs> spotted some uh, battered foxes on the way in. Oh, there goes the head. Some battered foxes. Uh, here we're taking. I did? No, you definitely hit him. I couldn't tell on that. No, one. definitely. I felt good on the shot. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to walk straight to Didn't that spot. Didn't me. Uh, no, you definitely hit him good. So I'm just, let's just walk straight to that spot. The light is fading and then we can just okay. see uh, follow him up. But let's move quickly though. Yep. There's our gap where we're shooting through. Um, there's blood there. I just want to see if my mom would have seen them as well. Beautiful camera. Yeah, that's not me. No. All right, this is the end of uh, day six. We just shot a nice warthog about an hour ago, and then we came looking for Niala and Impala, and Benjamin spotted three nice rams. Uh, was able to get a good shot on this one and, and recover him quickly. So it's, it's been a great day. Okay, we've had a great day out and uh, we're back at the barbecue and uh, a lot of the stuff we're eating we've killed in the last uh, seven days and uh, tonight we've got springback backstrap and uh, I think I've done it pretty well.
Fantastic. Well, anyways, well, Fred, I just want to congratulate you on your super warthog, first animal ever, and uh, yeah, it was a super, super great day. Thank you. It was a great experience. And uh, the most important thing, the three generations of hunters, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. really special. It is amazing. Sure. Yeah. And you've got your outfits on. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, it's amazing. Cheers. Right, tomorrow we will. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Tomorrow it's going to be another good day. Yeah. They've all been great, so I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. All right, so it's day seven. Um, we've gone to a new piece of property to try to find a good Niala bull and uh, we've spotted one so far, so hopefully we'll have, a, have some good luck. Over his back. Right so, on the shoulder where the two colors meet. That's all right, boss. It's not the end of the world. We'll find another one. And you just hold, 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 squeeze, squeeze, squeeze until it surprises yeah, you. Have you got the weapon? Yeah, I'll take it. Perfect shot. I don't care where I hit him. <laughs> yeah, let's just stay on him. Don't pull the trigger, whatever you do. Just stay on him, whatever you do. Okay, Marvin, I'll call my leg. We are, pa. Did I hit him? Yeah, you smoked his ass. Where? <laughs> okay, let's, let's make safe here. Let's just move about 50 yards. I don't think he's getting up. <laughs> I don't think so. That sounded like a serious hit. Where did I hit him? I think on the shoulder. Now, one hell of a thing. <laughs> That'll look good for a guess. 
I'd like to present you with the White Skull Award and your successful oh, yes. hunt. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what is that off of? Uh, just a second. One more second. Why don't you just like it? Uh, it's like a rat with horns. Yeah. Now, Justin? Yeah. That's a perfect shot. Thank you. Excellent shot. It did drop like a rock. Yeah. And you got yourself a good one, Justin. Well done, very, sir. Very, very good. I took a couple tries on this one, but uh, I got it eventually. Uh, Dropping like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we've been out uh, all afternoon for the Impala, and um, Justin finally made a connection at 311 yards. And uh, yeah, you could not have made a better shot. Um, uh, dropped him like a prom dress, <laughs> and then tonight you will be reloading ammo. <laughs> 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 Cheers, Justin. So it's our first morning out. And uh, weather's not too bad, at least, a slight little breeze. And uh, so we come out here on a vantage point, and uh, we're gonna do a bit of spot and stalk just to get us into the hunt and get everyone acclimatized to see how we operate. Um, uh, we spotted some kudu already, but nothing good enough. And uh, so the rest of the day, we're gonna be nosing around, and uh, similar to what we're doing now, um, throughout the day, we'll see kudu and parlor spring back, mountain reed back, and uh, hopefully a big warthog. But uh, yeah, great. So how do the animals generally move? Do they feed in the morning and then feed up in bed, or what's their pattern? Yeah, it just depends on the weather. Um, generally the animals are up very early, and then at about 11, 12 they sort of bed down and head into the thicker stuff. And then late afternoon they sort of come out again, so it's generally our best chance. But for warthogs, middle of the day at the dam, wallowing. It's a good time for them. So if it's hotter, do they kind of hide in, in the shade? Uh, generally, yeah. So all like the browsing species generally will all head into the thicker stuff. But the plains game animals will always find them out on the, on the, on the flat stuff. So yeah. Good. So we got a cool. yeah, target rich environment, we'll be good. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. So they're made by termites, and then you'll have ant bears digging them out. So the art fork, they were digging out, and then to be used for like secondary homes for like little critters would live in there. Yeah, sure. <coughs> Neat things though. <laughs> Good for dead rests. I was just gonna say that looks like a rest to me.
been a slow morning, but it's, it's good to just kick into routine. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Seen lots of species, which is good. Walk. Yeah. So we'll kick back and have a brunch, and then we'll head out again. Yeah. Awesome. Same area, or? I, I think we'll probably go to a different area. Yeah. Try for an impala or a springback mountain reedback. And then early evening we'll be back again for the kudu. This is when kudu. Yeah, kudu sort of this type of terrain. Yeah. We've seen enough females, so there should be some bulls around. See what we got. But well, that's really good job. First time on oh, the sticks, I'll tell you yeah. what. That's incredible. Absolute stunner. Oh my god. <laughs> good shooter, that's straight down. for a better shot. Look at that. Straight in the neck. Thank you. <laughs> nice done. Very, very oh, special. Well done. Oh, what a gorgeous freaking yeah, animal. Thank you so much. It's very special. Well done. You did good. well on the sticks as well. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't breathe. <laughs> You're gonna have to just do a little bit just on your forehead, just uh, <laughs> for your first little. African kill. Yeah, I'll, I'll do you one <laughs> once, uh, once everyone gets here, but we'll do you uh, Yeah, you're rewarded with that. <laughs> oh my god, that's cool. so freaking amazing. Thank you so much. Absolute pleasure, it was a good score and a good hunt. Oh, cool. They're so. Just hey, you just calm yourself. <laughs> When they're younger, they're part, their horns come together as in a diamond shape. Okay. And with age, they open up and they just get more and more gnarly. Yeah. So, so do their rings signify yeah. like, any, like, not, like age? Not or? necessarily. Okay. Yeah. A fairly fast growing animal. So, yeah. But he's a great animal oh to gosh, take yes. and Absolutely. exciting. The best part of the stalk. Awesome. And oh good shooting gosh. up the sticks. Happiness. It's not not even close to being that much fun in Montana. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The, bug, the bug has hit you. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. It's in great condition. So, an absolute oh, dandy. Oh my gosh. 
I was getting a first class ticket straight back to Montana. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't even believe it. <laughs> Good stuff, guys. I'm happy for you. What a cool animal. These little black tip ears. You very handsome boy. So it was a slow morning this morning and uh, weather's been fairly dismal. This afternoon we come out here and we spotted two lovely Impala rams and we did a great stalk on them. Um, probably stalked them for about 500 meters and they kind of spotted us and trotted off up the back. Nick just spotted a nice good ram in a group of Impala and we're gonna go after them. Uh, they're about 200 yards out. We'll put a good stock on them. Yeah. I think he took the herd on a loop first and then uh All right, we're back with uh, Nick Balker and still August 7th. We're getting caught up on animals now. We got behind a little bit, but I in the beginning got a buffalo which was really interesting. And then I got a um not a I way after Elin for a long time, but I got a sable, and then <clears throat> this afternoon I shot this Impala, and it turned out okay because Bailey was able to track it down. I shot a little low and broke its uh, front leg, and it didn't go far, but uh, everything worked out, and I'm happy with this. Very nice. Nick puts in, in the right spot, had an opportunity for a pig, just wiggled around uh, in the bushes back and forth and uh, we'll get them next time, a warthog that is. Um, they're just having a great time here. Uh, quite a big cloud cover above us.
Sorry, I don't want that front one. I don't want to shoot it. There was something, there was an irritation on his. That's why I kept on scratching like that. There was something wrong with that animal. That other one is small. You can just barely see it through the trees there. Yeah. I leave it, it's not good enough for you as well. That first one was nice, just something wrong with it. That was awesome. That was nice and neat. We got what, 35 yards of them? Very cool. Have a good day. Yeah. Well, nice way to end off our afternoon, I must say. Yes. Cool. Let's head back to the vehicle and see if they found us some for dinner. Second morning of the hunt. Getting a little later start today. We've had some rain this morning. Uh, still a little drizzly. Cooler weather. Uh, just finished a good breakfast and Looking at some Impala now, we're going to see what uh, we can get done today. Well done. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Beautiful ram. Well done, Andy. It was a good little stalk, that. Thank Cheers, boss. Man. Absolute pleasure. Good. It was good. I enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit well, of rain. It stayed on the stick longer, waiting on him to give us a good shot, then it took For a sure. stalk in on it. Yeah. So it exited. Mm. Exited, yeah. Mm -hmm. It really isn't a bad shot that it's, uh, you know, for the opportunity that he gave you. Yeah, he carries his mass all the way up. That was a beautiful round. I like it. I like him, I love him. <laughs> no, I like him. No, he's got a thick neck, he's got a big body. Beautiful animal. To, yeah. Number two. Fantastic. Well done again. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. All right, here we are the second morning with Nick. It's about noon. Uh, had a little rain delay this morning, and I think it's going to clear up, but we found a nice Impala. Benjamin snuck us in here on him pretty well using Benjamin's. Howell 300 wind mag 
and uh, it got the job done. Very pleased with the second African animal of this trip. I did a little sneak into them and the wind's perfect. Yeah, there's a whole group of them and they're two really nice males, which we've been seeing over the last couple of years. Hey, tell me what sure enough you're good in Shoot in, Kevin. Good stuff, boss. Awesome. I don't think he's going anywhere. No, he's gone. A little bit high, but not too good. Did he? Did he? I scared him to death. No blood at all. Beautiful. Well done. It's a pleasure. Lovely run, right? I got lucky because the other one fed up right behind so I got to see both of them at the same time to make sure. Make sure which one is which. Awesome. Stunning animal. Well, they're all pretty. Yeah. Well, we actually spotted a couple of Impala rams with, with some ewes uh, not too far from camp. Uh, we were able to ease past them and, and put a stalk back, back toward them. Uh, get to within a very comfortable range on this ram definitely the best of the two and uh, I'm, I'm very happy with it thank you Ben yeah and I just want to congratulate uh, Kevin on uh, his first African animal well done Kevin you got yourself a dandy you can be very proud of that one yeah. thank you sir Standing broadside now. Okay. Shoot that one. Shot. Reload. It's fine, it's not a bad shot. See it? Right. Need to, uh, it's laying down. It's down. Good stuff, Christoph. No stress. Is it? Yeah. Safety on. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Did you shoot it now? Shot, Christoph. Good stuff, boss man. <laughs> Good. Okay, get on. It's not going to stand for very long. It looks like it is quite wild. You've hit him, you've hit him. <laughs> I'll give you a high five as well. Uh, we're working our way back towards the, lunch, uh, towards the lodge for lunch and we picked up these pigs grazing out on the flats. And uh, yeah, we made a good stalk on them. And uh, put it, the shot was a little bit behind. Um, and uh, yeah, we thought it was dead and we gave it a prod and it got up and Chris dispatched it very well. And then we wanted to load it up and get some good pictures. And while we were coming down the road, we picked up this red impala ram. Um, it's actually in a breeding group of black impala. So it is a good one to take out the, gene, out the genes. And yeah, Chris made a great shot and this is where we stand. It's just an awesome place to be here. And thank you, Benjamin, uh, for all the guys. Uh, it's just awesome. Um, everyone should come over here and visit for sure because if you just shoot the pictures or you will shoot some animals on this land it, it's an awesome experience thank awesome. you benjamin absolute pleasure Chris. thank you well 
Well, apparently the rain is coming. My PA just told me that when the tortoise is on the move, that the rain is coming. This is the third one we've seen in three days. So. Yeah, we're sitting up, uh, been a little windy this morning and everything. I got this cool this morning, a little rainy. Cleared up, but the wind decided to pick up. So we're kind of getting up here a little bit out of the wind. They're still in the wind. Uh, but we're going to get some impala to come across and uh, we'll see what happens. What a shot! Well, because a nice Impala uh, had to shoot him right in the chest. When he pushed it over a little bit, broke his shoulder, uh, started coming after him. He jumped up, started running around. Black Jack the Wonder Dog went and chased him down. Then our trackers got him and he mainly uh, ended his life. Uh, it's a good looking ram. I'm excited. Uh, it was a good day. Here we are on day four. Uh, yeah, it was cold and windy and oh, cold and misty this morning. Kevin shot a real nice blessed buck and a wildebeest. Uh, after lunch, we came after, saw a real nice pig, but the wind was blowing and everything, and he got wind of us. and took off and everything. So we came down here, we were out of the wind. We seen uh, five real nice Impala, or five Impala and everything like that. And this one is a real old bruiser. Uh, like I say, he's on his last leg. Took a, what was a 357 yard shot on him. And uh, he ran right the shoulder and everything like that. He went down. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, Black Jack the Wonder Dog came after him and got him. and. That was it. Good hunt. Good day. Welcome to another episode of Diamonds the Outdoors, and if you haven't figured it out from the first 30 seconds of the video, in today's show we are hunting blessed buck in South Africa. Blessed buck hunting reminds me a lot of hunting really gun shy antelope here in the States. Think of antelope towards the end of rifle season if you will. They're really wary. They're in these big herds with a lot of eyes. They have really good eyesight. And if you look at the terrain we're in, there is not a lot of cover that is conducive to being able to sneak up on them. The chink in the armor of the Bless Buck's defense, so to speak, would be that they seem to really like to return to the high ground they were at when we first spooked them. So we would make a stalk and we'd jump them and they'd make a big loop out in the pasture and then they'd return to the high ground. As a matter of fact, if you look at the herd in the video right now, you'll see directly behind them is our land cruiser where we originally spooked them and jumped them and they just continuously re keep returning to that spot. 
as of right now, I could have took a shot, but with the Land Cruiser directly behind them, I just wasn't comfortable taking it. So for now, we're just going to sit and watch and see what they do. Another difficult thing about blessed buck hunting is is when they're in these really tightly formed up herds like that it's really hard to get one singled out to where you can take a safe shot and not worry about it going through one animal and into another as you watch this herd moving around in front of us you'll notice that there's different colored animals in there there's two color phases in this group the darker ones are the common blessed buck and the lighter ones are the white blessed buck which is just a more rare color phase of the common blessed buck in this group there's also quite a few considered like dirty white blessed buck and that's just a kind of a hybrid between the common and the white blessed buck they just kind of have a dirty off-white color to them which is the color i ended up shooting when I shot my blessed buck. Okay, I was going to say shoot that front one. That's closest to us. Just wait for those ones to clear. He's walking away from us now. Yeah, he's walking away from us. Second from the back there. Yeah, second from the back. Yeah, yeah like the second from the back. Well, he's turning to the right now. Shoot him. Shoot him. Yes. Shot. Nice. <laughs> incredibly large ram that. Right from just to come to some The battery in our camera, or rather the cell phone that we were filming with, decided to die at this point, so no cool videos of walking up to it. But here's my blessed buck. I feel really blessed to have been able to harvest such a beautiful animal in such a beautiful place. Once again, this entire safari has just been a dream come true. I cannot wait to go back.